Class, this is a quick update on 8.2. I received a question related to the following thing. It's from 8.2, number 19. And it was a problem on the proportion of Americans who, want, who flu was given as 10.10 or 10%. And in this problem, it was 99 out of 1,100. And it asked if they were afraid it decreased. Well, this answer was incorrect. And so I'm gonna do a similar question to show you how to do this problem. This was sent to me by a student. Uh, so let's take a look at how to do this. In my new version, I am given that my P hat is, or, or my P is 10%, 0 0.10. And I am told that 117 out of 1300 Americans are afraid to fly. And this was the given amount, given proportion, afraid to fly. Again, this is 8.2, number 19. And so what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the criteria are met. Uh, is N times P times one minus P greater than or equal to 10? And is N less than 5% of the total population? Now, there are a lot more than 1,300 Americans. We're over 300 million. So this one is definitely satisfied. The question is, what about this one? We have 1,300 is our N, and we're multiplying it by our P, which is 0.1, and our proportion, one minus P is one minus 0.1. What does that equal? 1,300 times 0.1 times parentheses, one minus 0.1 equals 117 which is greater than or equal to 10. So we meet the criteria, which means we can use the normal calculator. So let's take a look at this in the normal calculator. What does the normal calculator want of us? The normal calculator wants the mean and standard deviation. Well, the mean, when we're working for with proportions or the proportion or that the mean amount or the proportion of people that fly, we need to use is p is zero point one. What about standard deviation? Standard deviation, if you recall, was the square root. P times one minus P over N. What is that here? I got 0 0.1 times one minus 0 0.1. And N in this problem was 1300. That's my N. So I'll do the 0 0.1 times one minus 0.1 divided by 1300 first. And then I'm gonna take the square root of the answer. And I'm gonna type it in as many places as I can. Right now, my calculator says for this setup, 8.32050243 times 10 to the negative 03. That 03 means shift the decimal place left three times. I have to add a couple zeros in. I'm gonna enter this number in for my standard deviation. Point zero zero eight three two zero five zero two nine four three. Now let's read what the question was. They're worried that the population has that is afraid to fly, or not worried, but are curious if it's decreased. Has it? What is the what is the p hat for our sample? That's 
x over n, which is 117 over 1300. 117 divided by 1300 is 0.09. They are worried if it's decreased, we're looking at the probability that we would come up with something less than 0 0.09. If we if we're trying to show really what we're trying to show is this is not a rare event. What happened? I got to enter all that in again. That's calculators normal. We had 0.1. My standard deviation was 0.00832052943. And what we're trying to check is, is X less than 0 0.09? What, what, how, what this is asking is how likely is it to we to get something that's more extreme than 0.09? Because right now, if you look at it, if we try to, well, 0.09 is pretty close to 0.1, right? If you try to click on that as the answer, if we read the things, A is out. The sample size N is not more than 5% of the population. B, this is not necessarily evidence that the proportion of Americans who are afraid to fly has decreased below 10% because the probability of attaining a value equal to or more extreme than the sample proportion. Well, that's what I was talking about, but let's look at the other ones. C, this is not necessarily evidence that the proportion of Americans who are afraid to fly has decreased because N times P times 1 minus P is less than 10. We just showed that to be wrong. So C is out. And D, this is not necessarily evidence because that the proportion of Americans who are afraid to fly has decreased below 10% or 0 0.10 because the sample proportion we just calculated was 0 0.09 is very close to 10. This seems like an intuitive argument. And I agree, it does, it seems reasonable. But that's not what they want. And they tell you to do this big old shindig. What they're really telling you is you need sigma right here you need sigma and the mean and they're wanting you to work with z in stack crunch z is the normal calculator so let's that's not the one they wanted we already eliminated a and c it's got to be b so what does b say the probability of obtaining a value equal to or more extreme than the sample more extreme than the sample means further away from the given probability. The given probability was 10%, 0 0.10. So they're saying it's more extreme. More extreme than that would be further away from 10%. Right now it's at 9%. So what's the likelihood of the sample being lower than 9%? That's what we're going to compute. And I get that score to be 0 0.11471074. That is the pr proportion of sample groups that are going to be are likely to be below 0 0.09 if the 0 0.10 is true and we keep asking groups of size 1300. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to enter it says to four decimal places 0 0.1147. Correct. So the, the, the logic behind it is just because 0 0.09 is close to 0 0.1 doesn't really mean a lot. In fact, being 1% away is kind of big. If you've surveyed your survey, your sample size is so large, you have reason to believe. Uh, remember when we were doing the examples in class, when we went from having, uh, we were rolling the pigs, and we had about 1,200, 1,300 for each class. And that, that's about the sample size we had here. And shifting just one value change that could change the percentages quite a bit. But when I made it not 12 or 1300, but like 120,000, changing a couple of votes didn't change the percentage at all. We got really close to the exact values. So 
the sample size very much affects how close that percentage is. So is 0.09 close enough to 0 0.10? And that's we, what we're checking for is unusual. Is it less than five? Is, there, is it less than five percent chance or probability of getting a value further away from that proportion? And so that's what we did in StackCrunch. That's not where we did it. We did it right here. Our target was 0 0.10. We got 0 0.09. There is 0.1147 probability that we will get something even more extreme than 0 0.09 if the 10% is true. That's not less than 5%, so it's not unusual. This is 11.47%, and we're looking for 5%. Okay. Uh, that's what we had there. That's how that problem goes. I'll upload this and share it to everybody. Peace. Happy Easter. Stay safe.